Hey everyone, it's Abby. I've been seeing a lot of the Sand de Flor linen dresses on Instagram, so I got inspired to make a version of one using my favorite colors and a free sewing pattern from Mood. Linen is a great fabric for breathability, good for lots of different weathers. I found this dress to be a fun challenge. I may have to make more in the future, so let's get sewing. I found 100% linen in beautiful colors on Etsy. I used the Nissa Wrap Dress Free Mood pattern as a base for starting out. I did a lot of modifications. Using the bodice part of the pattern, I created a mock-up with scrap fabric. I also edited the sleeve pattern to be more fitted. I figured out where to cut the neckline down. I also added a bit to the shoulder area. I need to add some length to the back and cut down the front waistline. I've pinned the darts and also where I want to cut down. I'm marking these changes with a sharpie. I can finally do some cutting. I'm using the unaltered back pattern piece, making sure I have more length than my mock-up, and I'm using the mock-up of the front as my new pattern piece. I pin on doubled linen fabric. I cut these pieces out. I pin my modified sleeve pattern to the fold. You can see I just folded out the flowy bit, making it straighter, and cut the sleeves straight across. I had previously made a circle skirt pattern for my plaid flannel skirt. You can see the link in the description. I'm pinning the circle skirt on the fold. I will be cutting three of these out so I can have the wrap part of the dress wrap over. I cut out the circle skirt piece with seam allowance. I wanted larger ties, so I'm measuring and cutting wider than the pattern.
I also want this dress to have pockets. So I get out my trusty pocket pattern, pin to the fold and cut out the pocket. I need facing for the back neckline, so I pin the neck piece to a scrap of folded fabric and cut the piece for facing. I mark pin and machine sew the darts of the bodice front pieces. I do the same with the back darts. I machine sew a tiny hem into the facing piece. I also machine sew a tiny hem into the front of the bodice neckline. This will also turn into the front facing. I pin and machine sew the back facing to the back piece. I machine understitch the facing along the inside. I turned the facing to the inside, folded in the front facing, pin and machine sew the shoulders wrong sides together to start a French seam. I trim, fold to the inside, and machine sew my French seam up. I fold and machine sew the ties in half with a quarter inch seam allowance. I pin and machine sew my pocket pieces in. I'm going with French seams again, so I pin wrong sides together for the skirt pieces and machine sew quarter inch seams. I trim and flip those seams and sew my French skirt seams up. I pin and machine sew my pockets closed.
I finish the long skirt French seams. I'm going to add contrasting pink along the edge of the bottom of the sleeves on the inside, like the Sande Fleur dresses do with the white strip. I measure and cut the right width for the sleeves. I pin the pink to the edge of the sleeve, cutting away the excess. I machine sew the pink sleeve hem. I understitch along the pink side of the sleeve hem. I match up the centers and pin the sleeve into the arm side of the bodice part. I machine sew the sleeve head to the bodice. I zigzag stitch the raw edges of the sleeve seam. I press all my seams so far. I also press the neckline facings. I turned the ties right side out and pressed them flat. I pressed the skirt, pockets, and skirt seams as well. I pin and machine sew French seams along the sleeve and bodice sides. Music 
I trim, pin, and machine sew the finished French seams along the sleeve and bodice sides. I made sure to leave a gap on the one side that will need the tie to pass through. I machine sew gathering threads to the back waist of the skirt. I pin and machine sew the skirt to the bodice along the waist, gathering where I need it. I folded and pinned a front skirt hem with facing along the wrap edge. I trim to include space for the facing. I placed the cut piece along the other side and cut that one as well. I need to cut the pink hem facing. I was originally going to do it on a curve and rethought that. I decided to do large bias strips instead. I got out my mat, ruler, and rotary cutter and got to work. I lined up and cut 4 inch bias strip pieces. I machine sew the bias strips along the ends. I press the bias hem pieces. I press a quarter inch under along the skirt front edge. I fold and press the skirt front facing down. I press along the waist seam as well. I pin the pink bias hem facing along the bottom edge of the skirt. I machine sew the hem facing to the skirt edge. I fold and press the hem facing. As I go, I'm pressing any wrinkles or bubbles out. It helps the bias stretch and flatten.
I press the hem facing out along the seam. I press all along the hem to create a crisp edge. I pin the hem facing to the skirt. I hand whip stitch along all the hem facings using matching green thread. I hand whip stitch the sleeve hem facing. I hand stitch the neckline hem facing as well. I fold under the raw edges along the waist seam and hand stitch in place. You can see the hole for the tie here as well. I hand stitch the tie raw edges. I hand stitch the tie to the waist on the inside in the right places. And there we go, my completed Sondeflor inspired dress. Thank you for joining me today as I made a Sondefleur inspired green and pink linen dress. I really love how it turned out. It's so twirly. And of course, pockets are amazing. I did use the extra linen to make myself a couple of button up shirts as well. I always try and use as much of my fabric scraps as possible. If you liked this video and want to see more sewing and costume videos, remember to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Happy sewing! You coming out, Peeny? Come on. You can make it. Come on. Oh, there she is. Okay, sit, sit. There's a good girl. Okay. Oh, these little girls are so much. They must always have the attention. They crowd the mama all the time. Yes, they do. Yes, it is. He's twirly. Are you twirly? No. <laughs> you just tweak. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, 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 ho. It is I, the Papa. The Diana Papa. What's the baby doing? It's been like, what's your daughter doing on mama's lap? Why? Why is this happening? She's a good girl.